Ali from uh, Germany, he says, and this is a big problem, Ali, a lot of the immigrants who go to Germany, to uh, UK, to Finland, and I don't need to mention which continent, but they are well known. The moment they go in, they do not work. Some of them even tear their passports and apply for asylum. And they sit there, they take benefits for unemployment from the government and unfortunately cheat and lie and deceit the government that's paying them because it's a Kafir government and they work without declaring that they have a job. They take their wages in cash so they don't have to register that and be deprived of uh, um, uh, unemployment and they're married and they register themselves as single or even single parent. A Muslim does not do this and such people are the worst representation of Islam. Such people tarnish the reputation of Islam and the Muslims. In a sense they are professional beggars. They extend their lower hand and Allah tells us that the upper hand is better than the lower hand. They have the audacity to go and say, yes, give us money. This is our right. It's not your right. You are just a liar and a cheater. Yes, if you're looking for a suitable job and you do your best to work in a halal job and you're unable to find one, meanwhile, the government is giving you money, there's no problem. But if the government says this is a job for you and you go and you flunk it deliberately and then they give you another job and you decline because physically you're not fit, so you claim. And you go for a third and a fourth and you continue to live in their houses, to take their benefits while doing nothing. This is definitely haram and you are sinful. 